If you're a new Minecraft YouTuber out there, this is quite possibly the biggest mistake that you can make as a new Minecraft YouTuber. And I've seen so many YouTubers make this mistake as well. And that is to make Minecraft Let's Plays. But before I get into the reason as to why that is a bad idea, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Consider subscribing because I upload a ton of Minecraft content on a regular basis here on the Chrono Fairy channel. And let's get started, guys. I'm currently making this video in 2020. If you're watching this in the future, chances are this rule hasn't changed is that Let's Plays basically get no views. And let me tell you why. When you want to make a successful YouTube video, and I'm speaking all of this from experience. Now, I haven't been that successful on YouTube. I'm sure many of you watching this video who are subscribed to me, you know that I only have like 4,000 subscribers, which to some people is not considered a lot. But I do know more about this than the average YouTuber because I have been uploading videos for about two years actively. My channel was actually created back in 2012 actually and I recently crossed 1 million views on my channel so thank you guys for that. But as you can see I've made many videos over the past few months or so and some of them have been hits while some of them have flopped and there's a really big reason and a really obvious reason actually as to why some videos work and some videos don't. And basically by making Minecraft Let's Plays, you are essentially killing the momentum of your channel because that video is going to get no views whatsoever. Now, if you guys don't care about views and you don't really care about growing your channel on YouTube, you just want to make Minecraft Let's Plays because you enjoy making them, then this video is not really for you because uh, if you want to do things your own way, you are more than welcome to, but uh, chances are it will be really difficult to grow your channel using Minecraft Let's Plays. And the biggest reason as to why Minecraft Let's Plays get no views is because they are not searchable. So if you are a big YouTuber, this rule obviously doesn't apply to you. And by big YouTuber, I mean like having 100,000 subscribers, not having a relatively small channel like mine with only 4,000 subscribers. I still have to rely on search a lot in order to get views because YouTube is not promoting my content that much. And it won't promote your content, especially if you have like 10 subscribers. YouTube will promote your content even less. So you want to rely on content that is actually searchable. So therefore, the point that I'm trying to make here is that this video is searchable, this video is not, this video is about a trending topic in Minecraft, and this video isn't. And it has a way more clickable thumbnail as well because you'll be interested, how do I get my Minecraft from 100 FPS to 400 FPS? So that is the main deciding factor. And the thing is, for a survival let's play, you have none of these elements of a successful video. You don't have really a clickable thumbnail unless something really exciting happens in your survival server but i don't think that's gonna happen like uh, you getting killed by a creeper is it's not that exciting guys we've seen it thousands of times before in minecraft let's plays so there really isn't a clickable thumbnail that you could work into a survival let's play and the video's title simply means that you won't get any views at all because it's not searchable if you title your survival let's play minecraft let's play part one um creepers are after me <laughs> you're gonna get no views because if you just search minecraft let's plays on youtube let's just see you guys might be saying, hey, this guy has 2 million views and it's just uploaded 7 months ago. Who says Let's Plays can't be successful? Well, let's just keep in mind, guys, that this guy has 238,000 subscribers, which means that YouTube will actually promote his content. But if you have 10 subscribers, YouTube is not going to promote your content. There's no incentive. And the fact that you have 10 subscribers, unfortunately, means that uh, YouTube doesn't think that you are worthy enough or doesn't think that your quality of your videos is high enough, even though maybe they really are. But YouTube is not going to take the chance and they are not going to promote your video unless you actually have a sizable following to begin with. And the same thing here, this one has a lot of views, but 500k subscribers once again. So you guys might be saying Hermitcraft gets millions of views, Dream SMP gets millions of views as you can see here. So why can't my Minecraft Let's Play be successful? Two reasons, like I said. One is that these YouTubers who make these SMP servers, they are actually popular. So people want to watch them. And they will get views like Technoblade, for example. He will get views even if he's not doing survival Minecraft or he's not doing Let's Play stuff. He will get views because of his personality. But for us YouTubers who are actually smaller and we don't have the luxury of YouTube promoting our content, we need to make titles that are actually searchable. And this is an example of a title that is not searchable, but it works well for Technoblade because, again, he has a large following. So this video is going to get a lot of views no matter what. Now, if you did Minecraft Let's Plays in the past, you'll probably encounter some success, but it's really hard to do it now, seeing as how everyone has just been doing it. So you're competing with quite literally the millions of YouTubers who have done Minecraft Let's Plays already. So that's why your Let's Play isn't going to get any views. You want to create Minecraft content that has a unique audience, that can attract 
um, a new audience and not Minecraft Let's Plays because you're going to lose out to the big YouTubers out there. So Minecraft Let's Plays can actually be successful. Here's an example of a Minecraft Let's Play series that I did. You guys probably can't see this on my channel because it has been privated for a long time. It was uploaded in 2012. You can see the first episode got 5,500 views. Now to, to many of you guys out there who have small channels, this is definitely a big success, right? 5,000 views on the first episode, 1,900 views on the second episode. And you might be thinking, hey, it's pretty good, right? My, who says Minecraft Let's Plays doesn't get views? You're a small YouTuber back then. Back then I, was, I, was, I had a much smaller channel and I was getting views for Minecraft Let's Plays. But keep in mind guys that this, this was 2012. This was a much simpler time and there, were way le there was way less competition on YouTube back then. And this advice also applies to people who are thinking of doing SMP series as well. Because yes, survival Let's Plays that are solo will definitely get no views. And you might be thinking that, okay, a survival multiplayer series, I might be actually able to get some views because I will be collaborating with other YouTubers. Well, here's the thing. If all the YouTubers in the survival multiplayer series are small, you're just simply not going to get any views. And as someone who has actually been in a survival multiplayer series, I can tell you that it's just not going to work out. Here's an example of an SMP series that I was in back in the day. You can see that episode one that is not on my channel has 10,000 views. Then you guys might be thinking that, oh, this is pretty successful. It has helped to grow your channel. And the channel that uploaded it has 349,000 subscribers, which is crazy, right? And here's the proof in the description. You can see the cast, the YouTubers involved. This leads straight to my channel and it's on this guy's channel with uh, 349,000 subscribers. So I was part of this whitelisted uh, Minecraft server back in the day, along with many other YouTubers, some of which you might still recognize. Like some of these YouTubers actually have decent sized followings. Like this guy is 42K subscribers. And here's me <laughs> standing amongst all these uh, big channels. And I can say that it didn't really help my channel that much. So it only works, I think, if every YouTuber is actually really popular. Now, you might be thinking that, oh, you're doing a survival multiplayer series with a YouTuber with 349,000 subscribers. Why did your channel not grow? Well, firstly, due to two reasons. This guy, I think back in the day, he had 10,000 subscribers, not 349,000 subscribers. So that's a pretty big difference. And there's just so many YouTubers on this server. I don't think anyone who's actually watching it will go and check out every single YouTuber on this server. Whereas if you look at series like Dream SMP, there's slightly fewer YouTubers and all of the YouTubers have bigger followings as well. So people will be more interested in that sense. If you want to set up a survival multiplayer series, guys, it's still not going to get any views unless you actually have some notable uh, popular YouTubers in there. And maybe if let's say all the YouTubers involved in the survival multiplayer series have like one or 2000 subscribers, then maybe you might be able to get some views and subscribers from that. But if all of the channels involved in that multiplayer series only have like 10 subscribers, it's not going to benefit your channel at all. And it's not going to benefit other people's channels at all, which is why I still think survival multiplayer series is in the same boat as solo survival let's plays in the sense that they both get no views. So if this video has helped you guys out, don't forget to drop a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And let me know if you want to see more YouTube advice videos like this one. I know there's so many YouTube advice videos out there about how to grow your YouTube channel and all that, but I was thinking that I could give specific tips that are related to Minecraft channels. So that will make it more interesting uh, for you guys out there. And of course, I'll still be doing regular Minecraft commentaries and regular Minecraft uh, documentaries as well and mod reviews coming your way very shortly. So be sure to look forward to that. Other than that, guys, let me know what you thought of the video down in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.